The five species of big cats, distributed in Asia and Africa. Although the body is significantly smaller than other big cats, such as tigers or lions. But leopards are just the fearsome predators. Leopards are endowed with fantastic agility and the ability to climb very well. When they are of an age of full strength, a leopard can run more than 60 miles per hour, jump six feet high, and they are capable of hunting in trees as well as on the ground. They feed on insects, rodents, fish, and large mammals such as wildebeest. Leopards even eat snakes, and snakes are formidable predators too. So what happens when this predator encounters the black mamba? The most dangerous and feared snake in Africa. Dubbed the world's longest venomous snake, a black mamba has an average length of 6 feet 7 inches. It is also the fastest snake in the world with a speed of 16 to 20 miles per hour over a short distance. Although in their name they are black, their appearance is more olive brown. The black here refers to the black pigment in their mouths. They live mainly in the east and south of Africa, in areas of little attention with bushes, termite mounds, abandoned burrows and rocky crevices a favourite. Black mumbas adapt to a variety of terrains, ranging from hay meadows to sparse forests to rocky slopes and jungles. The scariest thing about this snake is its venom. The venom of a black mamba snake is very dangerous and just one bite is enough to cause a man to die after 20 minutes. It is a combination of neurotoxins and cardiovascular toxins that cause asphyxiation, multi-organ failure and lead to death after a few minutes. By comparison, the venom of a black mamba is three times that of the Cape Cobra five times that of the King Cobra, and 40 times that of the Gaboon Viper. That means with just one bite from a black mamba snake, there will be enough venom to kill 80 people at a time, the equivalent of 20 African elephants. The food of the black mamba snake is small mammals, reptiles, birds, although it sometimes also attacks larger animals if they threaten it. In nature, it is rare to see leopards and black mambas colliding with each other. The black mamba always tries to stay away from conflict. They are shy and will hide very quickly unless they are provoked.
when they are provoked, the black mamba will raise its head to one third of its body length. Then they will have multiple attacks in quick succession and inject a dose of venom after each attack. So if the mamba attacks the leopard, the leopard can be injured and die from the snake's venom. As in the following film, which was filmed in the sands of North Sabi, the leopard and its cubs intended to steal the black mamba's prey, forcing the snake to attack. The snake is wrapped up around an eagle and crushing the prey, so it may have injected the poisonous venom into the eagle. The two leopards are trying to steal the prey from the black mamba. They seem to have the power of a snake. It can only be helpless to watch the black mamba as the prey. What do you think about the power of black mamba snakes? Leopard is a species with clever and quick hunting tactics. Thanks to its keen senses of hearing and sight, hunting becomes easier for it. In addition, the leopard has a live body that helps it carry out effective tree hunting. Their agility and ability to climb are very good. So they can hunt prey from trees as well as on the ground. Leopards will hunt at night or near dawn. The process of tracking, stalking and then attacking and knocking down prey is done in the correct manner by leopards. But not every hunt is successful. Leopards often hunt alone and they will have to fight with cunning animals that specialise in stealing prey such as hyenas and wild dogs so it's normal for them to get injured. This leopard is very thirsty and it is constantly drinking water. We don't know the leopard is injured until it stands up. It has a very large tear on its right flank. The wound looks quite serious and a patch of skin almost fell off to reveal the fresh meat inside. The leopard looked quite tired and exhausted. During the dry season in Kruger National Park, herbivores begin their migratory journey to greener grasslands. The number of prey is sparse, making it difficult for predators such as the leopard.
hunger forces them to attack prey that is not their preferred. The cub was so hungry because he hadn't hunted for days. The appearance of two porcupines gives it an opportunity to fill its stomach. But it also contains danger. Look at the leopard struggling with quills after a fight with the porcupine. Look at how the leopard lost the battle and is dealing with its wounds. The sharp spikes have pierced the leopard's body. And blood is oozing from the wound that looks quite painful. The leopard has no strength but has to sit down the road and painfully pull out every quill from its body. It looks very tired and annoyed with the quills left by the prey. Leopards do not hesitate to attack large animals such as wild buffalo or wildebeest. But these animals can also threaten the leopard with their long sharp horns. Life in the wild is inherently harsh. but they must learn to accept and survive. Only the strongest animals will have a chance to survive and the weaker ones will be eliminated. So does the leopard. In fact, the leopard is the best surviving animal in the feline family that includes tigers and lions. Although their strength cannot be compared with lions or tigers, their ingenuity and intelligence has helped them survive well in the wild. Leave your thoughts below in the comments section. Do not hesitate to ask us questions and Swag will answer those questions.